Yes, we are doing a live stream at the HWBOT World Tour 2017 Sao Paulo. I'm Truthman from Overclocking TV, and this video is to explain you why this will finally happen. About a week ago, I was forced to announce that there will be no live stream for the HWBOT World Tour Sao Paulo 2017. This was heartbreaking for me, especially after all the involvements and the work uh, over the past years into the, uh, into the World Tour. To give you an idea about how this works, uh, when we do the World Tour stream, uh, this is based out of volunteer contribution. So either me or the guest that appears on the lives, uh, they are volunteered. So they take the time to do, uh, to do the live for you guys. And uh, that being the comment on the matches or the analysis, um, well, we take from our time, but we love doing it. From a one-time event in 2014, three events in 2015 in France, Canada, and Taiwan, up to seven events in 2016, the HWBOT World Tour is definitely something we believe in. We made the choice to be volunteer for the streams because that means there will be more events closer to you or your community for you to attend. The HWBOT World Tour 2016 was the biggest tournament ever organized and each of the overclockers that qualified at the different events were actually having the accommodation and transportation all the way to Berlin for the final. Overclockers from Canada, Brazil, South Africa, Indonesia and Germany, they were all there for one reason, they were the best. As you might expect, organizing this kind of event takes a lot of time, preparation and organization around it. There are numerous things you have to take into account, like the booth space, the booth cost, the, f the transportation cost, how can we get all the stuff there, uh, what can we do the best with all the uh, budget that we have for this kind of event for you guys to attend. Because we really do it for you guys in the end. The supports come in different forms. It can be money or in terms of hardware. Obviously, there are things you cannot buy with hardware. Accommodation cost, booth space, transportation cost, just to name a few. And this is the major challenge here, because you can have a complete system for an event, but if you don't have the budget to actually make the event happen, the event is not a reality. The 2016 HWBOT World Tour and World Series would have never been possible without the support and the funding of the partners of the 2016 season. It is although a success thanks to the involvement of the volunteers like the FFOC in France, Jagadoc in Indonesia, Kulaler in Taiwan, the guys in Brazil, South Africa and Canada, and all the overclockers that do give a hand before and after the event to make sure that everything goes smoothly. So what did we say there will be no live stream? Because that was the case. I did not find a solution that allows either me going there or having someone there to do the stream for, uh, for the event. And all the funding was being used towards making the event happen. Because that's what matters. If there is no event, there is no stream, there is no point of it. This is all to make sure that there will be event for you guys to attend. The event is happening thanks to the funding support of partners like Seasonic that truly believe in performance PC and overclocking. So while taking days off from work, traveling there, paying for my own ticket if I need to, this would have actually been a disaster in my capacity to cover the next few events. And that was a heartbreaking decision to make. But wait, there will be a live stream. That's the title of the video. Yes, there will be a live stream. Thanks to the guy at Technique PR to make it happen. They know that the stream is a vital part of the event. While this covered part of the expenses, uh, we will be able to make a stream for you guys. So that will be February 1st and 2nd for a fun stream, basically going around the campus party, the event itself, and uh, answering all your questions. Then 3rd and 4th will be focusing on the OCWC, the Overclocking World Championship. The 3rd, that will be the amateur matches. That's going to be the first time there will be amateur matches in 2017 season. And on Saturday, the 4th of February, we'll be focusing on the Overclocking World Championship for the Extreme Overclockers. Be sure to tune in on Twitch TV Overclocking TV channel for the Overclocking World Championship 2017 Sao Paulo Qualifier, because when we will go live, we will go live for you. Support the channel by using the donation link below in the description. And I know you like to click on subscribe and stuff, so subscribe and stuff. Until next time, keep pushing it.